coming in the other direction and annoyed at you for getting in their way. Be nice, please, and make sure you don't obstruct the pavement. Um, for people that don't know me, I'm Jamal Edwards from SBTV. When I first started SBTV, I didn't really know about politics that much. Over the recent years, I've got involved with the help of uh, Mike Sarney. It's a pleasure to see everyone that wants to get involved in politics and try and change the way that the system is run currently. So I see so many of you out here. This is about unity, so let's galvanise, let's pick apart the faults in this current system and you lead the change. Let's go! <laughs> My name is Oliver McGarry, uh, 23. I am a student at City and Islington College at the Centre for Lifelong Learning. For me personally, the most important thing is obviously student fees. Um, it's a very complicated issue and with the, with the rise to £9,000 a year, it's, it's basically a, a led, led to an under, a graduate underclass of people who will never be able to pay back their loans because they will most likely spend 40, 50 years paying a small amounts of it back because of the structure of the system. Najwa Umran, I'm 18. I study at City and Islington College. Yeah, I'm a student leader for North London Citizens based in my college. First time voters are really interested in policies that are going to like impact their lives and um, things that are in their interest. So we're looking at um, student fees being lowered and um, the EMA possibly being brought back. Things that can help young people to be more interested in politics as well. My name is Peter from the City of Islington Sixth Form College, Peter Sobajor, 39 years old. And I've worked at City Leaders for about nine years now. I live in Potter's Bar. I think it's very much uh, getting student leaders on board because when students talk to other students through word of mouth and uh, making sure that they understand the, all the issues involved in students, uh, student lack of rights and uh, things like the EMA being taken away, rising tuition fees, etc. Things that affect their lives on a daily basis. Others, coming from other students, it's much more powerful than coming from adults who may, be, who may be seen as not knowing all the issues involved. Because it's the first step towards encouraging the young people to go out and vote. I do a lot of campaigning, knocking on doors, and, and you always find that the elderly know more about politics all says, yeah, I'll be there on, on the day, and they are there on the day. Young people sort of, I'm not interested in voting, I won't vote. So this really encouraged me that, hey, maybe the young people will be interested in putting that cross on the, uh, on the voting card when the day comes.